High Bowling fans, we're here at the Pro-Am Finals at the bowl around. Four, seven, ten left on that one. As you can see, this one is rarely picked up. Well, a less than perfect start to this one. The key is to not let it snowball from there. Refocus and move on to the next shot. Marshall Kent and those biceps ready to go now. He's won four PBA Tour titles, but is still looking for his first major. Knocks down nine pins there. As close to automatic as it gets with a 98% conversion rate. And gets the spare early here. Ten down. Takes out nine pins. Six pins should not be a problem with a 97.5% conversion rate on the tour. Got the spare. Nice. Really a nice touch on that shot. Ryan for the double now. Doesn't get it. A ringing seven. And that was a pretty good shot, too. Easy conversion there. Double here. Two strikes in a row. Already with the double, looking for a triple. Someone is heating up. Our graphic here shows the potential of max scores. That went straight through the face. Trouble. As our graphic shows, the pros will usually make this one. Get a streak going here. Yeah, just a little wide that time. And no problem there. out eight pins leaving the four and seven as you can see players on the tour are likely to convert here gets the spare here knocks down six This should be interesting. And a nice conversion there. Got a strike on the last turn. a little high with that one.
got it. Here's your strike breakdown on the left and right lanes. The pins, Randy, didn't have a chance on that one. That's dirty. That's dirty. This ball comes in just a pinch high. on that one. You see your max scores here. Left the goalpost, the dreaded 7-10 split. You know, only three bowlers have ever converted this on TV, and the last time was in 1991. Tough deal here. Rarely converted, as you can see. to convert to no one's surprise. You know, Rob, I used to pick up the 710 all the time, but it seemed like it always happened when no one was looking. Looking to get on a streak now, hunting two in a row. Another strike. Two in a row now. Great execution on the last two shots. Try and make it three in a row here. Six pins here, and you've got a winner. Russell Pins has won this match. Going for the ham bone now, Randy. Looking really good here. Nice streak going. That's a ham bone. The question now is, can you maintain the... ...scores if both players strike out. Five, seven, ten. the sour apple, I believe. Not much really to say here. Unlikely to convert this one? probably shouldn't have left it. Fails to convert, no surprise there. The 5-7-10 is just a brutal split. Looking for two in a row. Another strike, two in a row now. Great execution on the last two shots. Looking to keep it going with the triple. Five pins needed for the win. Marshall Pins has won this match. Working off a turkey, trying to upgrade to a ham bone. The streak continues with four strikes in a row. Call it a ham bone! Working off the ham bone. Will we see five in a row? I wouldn't bet against it. There's a nine count. Yes, there you go. Struck in the last frame, looking for the double here. for three in a row now. By that time. And that wraps things up for us, folks. We appreciate you joining us. OAM finals at the Bolarama. Picks up six there. We'll see how they approach this. And a spare to open here. Marshall Kent is set to go now. The native of Yakima, Washington, joined the PBA back in 2014. Picks up nine pins. Oh. 
a spare to start things off. There's no room on the deck after that shot, folks. What adjustment would you suggest here? Oh, throw it better. That was a bad shot. We'll see what happens here. Oh, missed it! What happened there, Randy? Not sure. Maybe a little frustration carrying over from not getting that strike. That ball went through the pins with bad intentions. Got a strike on the last turn. Wide on that one. Got the spare. for the double here. Five and seven remain standing. Can't come up with the spare. Tough break there. The five seven is the one you're hoping to convert. Our graphic here shows the potential max scores. That went straight through the face. Trouble. A very low conversion rate here. Can't convert the big four. That's a really difficult one to pick up. Looking to keep it going here with two in a row. Goes a little light with that one. Did not get the spare. Yep, bad release on that one. There's a nine count. Easy conversion there. on the nose professional bowlers are awfully good spare shooters and will usually convert here no problem on that one just missed the pocket this should be interesting and a nice conversion there nice really a nice touch on that shot Looking for the double, you can see how the strikes have come on the left versus right lane. Knocks down eight pins, leaving the four and nine. Pins do not go down. Yeah, your ball placement has to be perfect, and that's not what we saw right there. Six count there. 
what will happen here. No problem. There you see the max scores. Takes out eight pins, leaving the four and ten. Only a 4.5% conversion rate on the 410 split. Went for it, but could not pick it up. That would have been a heck of a conversion. Take a look at the 10 pin party in the pit. Looking to get on a streak now, hunting two in a row. Four pins here, and this one is over. Marshall Kent has won this match. Wow, that can't feel too good. Yeah, no doubt. Nothing more frustrating than missing easy spares. Takes out six pins. We'll see how they handle this. Fails to pick it up. Big mistake there. I don't know if the release was off or what. Now, we hope you enjoyed this fabulous night of bowling as much as we did. So long, folks.